Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA Vice City, the Definitive Edition. And on this part, we're going to be doing um, Diaz's missions. And sorry for the delay on this, I just had a pretty long flight. But we're going to be continuing this playthrough, putting out a part each day. And on top of that, a lot of the lore videos are pretty close to completing, which I think you guys are going to really enjoy. So let's do Diaz's missions. And if you guys enjoy this series, do drop a like on it, because it does help the series out a lot. Oh, yeah! Yeah! I'll chop your head off. Uh, who is this dickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. Yeah, yeah, this definitely is gonna be easy for Tommy. So, um, Tommy is trying to gain Diaz's trust, um, uh, so that he can, um, uh, take over his business. So, um, uh, I, I love how, how brutally honest Tommy is when he just says, I work for money, like, he's not even scared of Diaz, he just says that straight up to him. But, um, anyways, um, uh, this guy that, um, Tommy is going to kill... Um, this guy is, um, a drug dealer that works for Diaz, and the, um, uh, the drug dealer's part of the Sharks. Um, the Sharks are kind of like a greaser gang. Um, they used to be a much richer gang. They actually drove more fancier vehicles, dressed up in more fancier clothes, but they became much more poor after, um, Vic Vance had destroyed them. So, that's why the Sharks are so much richer in Vice City Stories two years prior, because Vic, Vic destroyed them, um, and took out almost all their businesses. But the gang still exists. Have a look through his window. The sharks in Vice City stories are best known for being those guys that chase Gonzalez to the airport. Oh shit! What the? Loser! So this mission isn't too bad, um, just be careful not to fall on the, um, off on the planks here, yeah. Too slow, granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. <laughs> yeah, Tommy got pretty pissed when he called him old. Okay, so now we just chase this guy down here. Grab some wheels and follow him. The rest of this mission is pretty easy. You just basically just follow him back to the, um, uh, you just follow him back to the, uh, mansion. That's it. I also hope you guys like my, um, Tommy Versetti, um, shirt on this, um... The, the only really annoying thing about this mission is sometimes, like, he will actually pop one of your tires, and then it makes it a bit annoying chasing him. Whoa, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 psycho drivers, okay. What are you doing? Okay, that's just, um, I don't know what that driver was doing. Oh, he's, he's gonna smash into them too! Huh. 
Okay, so now this is the end of the, um, uh, this is gonna be the end of the mission, and, um, for people that play, uh, this, the first time, like, you play these, these, um, uh, these missions, it doesn't really mean that much, you're just trying to gain Diaz's trust, but if you play Vice City Stories, this, the, this house right here, these houses mean, uh, are really important. So, um, uh, I've, um, I've received a few complaints on my last part that the Mission Pass music is too loud. I really do apologize for that, guys. I didn't want to, um, annoy anybody with that. Um, I didn't realize how loud it was because the, when the, when you play the game, it, for me it was the, um, the music volume was set all the way up. And so I didn't realize that the, um, that it was going to just make it so loud. Um, so I apologize for that, but I got it mostly under control. So tell me if the Mission Pass, um, uh, music sounds good. I, I lowered it a lot more. Oh, this is my favorite Diaz mission. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 <laughs> Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? He's smashing thousands of dollars worth of stuff constantly. These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? Tommy is mafia. That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here... But uh, Quentin, Diaz doesn't know Quentin. that. He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. Man, Vice City does look really nice here. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Vance. Vance? Your name's Lance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that at school. Lance Vance, you poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed anyway? Prawn Island. You ever fire one of those from a whirly? No. I'll get a bit of practice on the way, though. You know what's nice about um, Vice City Stories is it shows how Lance um, knows how to fly a helicopter, and also it also explains his name Quentin, which he hates the name Lance. The Mendez brothers uh, mansion right up there, abandoned two years later, controlled by the Sharks now. Nice M60.
I always um uh, love this mission. I hope you guys like the love this song that I put in the mission too. So M60, oh, this machine gun looks great in the definitive edition. So um uh yeah, this is what I this is what I like about the console now. That console you can actually you can actually shoot in third person with these guns. I do like that a lot. Yeah, we're literally going ramble right now with this thing. Look at this. This is a great machine gun. Save a little bit of the ammo in that. So the sharks completely took over the Mendez brothers' um, um, mansion and the area. The other houses also became abandoned after the Mendez brothers. Um, uh, after the Mendez brothers died. So those mansions that are abandoned on Prawn Island, they don't mean a lot to a lot of players that just play like, you know, Vice City. But if you play Vice City stories, those, um, uh, those abandoned mansions mean a lot. Used to be the, um, uh, the, uh, the base of the, the Mendez brothers. They used to be the most powerful cartel in Vice City bef before Diaz. So the hurricane has passed. Um, the bridges are now open in Vice City. I would love to see Vice City in another GTA game. That's so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, what were you waving at thing? No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> You're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard has just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your ah! pigeons are back. What an idiot. And did you see how he was holding the shotgun too? Oh my god. He literally, he literally um, waved it at Tommy. And he wasn't even doing that intentionally. That's what a moron he is. Also, Diaz seems to be more, um, uh, how would I say, uh, uh, a bit stupider in Vice City than, than in Vice City stories. And the reason I think it's the coke, I think the doing two, uh, two years of coke, because he started doing it in Vice City stories, I think that did it to, to his head, messed him up too more. Because he was, he was also a maniac in Vice City stories, but in Vice City he's just much more, you know, of a loose cannon. Um, so here you got a free armor, make sure you guys pick this up. And you also have health underneath this um, uh, staircase if you need to get that. And then up here, there is actually a um, uh, a submachine gun, but I'm gonna keep the Uzi because I like the Uzi. But just just that, there's a Mac 10 right there if you if you want it. Okay, so here we go, the boatyard. I love being able to finally aim this gun in third person. I, I, I'm not totally against the first person mode in um, the console, but I also do like, and I like how they also kept the first person in, so that's really nice about the, um, about the assault rifles now. Find the switch to lower the boat, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, he's just running away now. No wonder you ended up being a cop. I don't know what he's doing right now. Okay, now he's back. Oh, he got three stars, but it's not a big deal. Get some ammo. You can get a lot of ammo for the Kruger in this mission. Now we just take the boat back. Very easy mission. This mission's not that bad at all. Whoa. Oh, I forgot about this. These guys show up here. Yeah. 
almost forgot about that. I was rushing to avoid the cops and... Yeah, let's just get out of here then. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, once you, um, uh, once you actually take the boat, a bunch of them will actually spawn in the front. But that's why it's good to have armor. But still, it's, it's not a bad mission, even with the three stars of cops chasing me. You know, what, what I like so much about Vice City so far is the water. The water looks really good in this. I'll say that. But um, uh, if anybody is from Miami or has been to Miami, let me know in the comments down below, like, what do you think of the map of Vice City? Because Vice City is supposed to be Miami. Um, is I know a lot of people commented also on uh, my Vice City stories and Vice City playthrough, but I'd love to hear, like, um, a ton of different perspectives on it. And I, I actually, um, oh, who's calling me right now? Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? But, um, uh, anyways, um, uh, a lot of you guys actually told me that the water in Florida is actually, a um, really light blue like that in a lot of parts of Florida, where in New York, I'm not used to that at all. I've been to Florida once, but this is, like, 2013, but I don't really remember the water that much, but the, um, uh, the, the water in New York, what I'm used to is the water is just dark in color. That's just generally what I'm used to, dark blue. Jack, plastic crap! You're doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh. Oh. Screw you! It is my favorite El Budo movie, it's died. What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Yep. Damn. Idiot. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? My god, this guy. He's just constantly always yelling, like, really loud. He's breaking something. He's being frightening. This guy doesn't, does not know the, what the word chill means. I thought I could use a guardian angel. I'm just saying, you need to let me in there, my man. Now, you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm gonna save your ass, and you're probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> we got some competition! Get to the yacht before the other boats do. So, Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So why in the hell are we running errands for? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real friend. It's time for the Lance Fans Dance. So, um, uh, Diaz was the one who actually ended up attacking the deal. But, um... Uh, he doesn't know, um, uh, he doesn't know that Tommy was the one who was actually at the deal, and I doubt that he have, even knows that Lan um, Lance was there as well. He probably eventually found out that Vic is dead, but, um, he probably doesn't think that Lance is stupid enough to try anything against him. So this boat that everybody's racing to, I'm assuming that this has to be drugs, because, um, uh... Okay, let's... You can actually die pretty quickly in this mission, so you want to be careful. Okay, there we go. Shoot out this magazine. So all the gangs are trying to rush to this um, boat um, uh, to try to buy something from it, but Diaz doesn't specifically state what's, what's in there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be, um... Gonna shoot the barrels. Ah, okay, I got the barrels. And the helicopter now.
Okay, we got him. Now up ahead. Yeah, it's a bit annoying shooting the gun when the boat keeps rocking back and forth, up and down, up and down. Watch this now, guys. Okay, Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Even in the definitive edition, they still did it. I, I, I always loved that part. Lance, he just turns the boat. He he turns the boat too much, and he always scratches the boat and hits the wall. Like that cutscene. That cutscene was designed badly in the in the original. Like I guess they just rushed that cutscene out. But I just always it's not that big of a deal. But I always thought that, that was funny. That like right when the mission ends, that Lance doesn't know how to turn the boat and just turns it too much and <laughs> it scrapes the wall. <laughs> Oh, well, there goes the fastest speedboat in um, uh, in Vice City, now scratch to hell. <laughs> if it's not riddled with bullet holes, that is. But um, uh, thank you guys for um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. On the next part, we'll do Avery Carrington's missions, and I think we'll also put Colonel Cortez's missions in there. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.